Us Weekly, and it says Ariana will not film with Tom or Raquel. Good luck. Following the season 10 finale of Vanderpump Rules, Ariana Maddox is making her attentions to cut ties with Tom and Raquel clear. No, I have nothing to say to either of them. The 37-year-old reality star told the New York Times in a profile published on Thursday. When asked whether she was open to filming with Sandoval and Raquel for season 11 after the fair, she says, Our show is very real and follows a real group of friends, and neither of them are in, are in the group of friends. So, good luck. During the Wednesday, May 17th episode of the reality show, Bravo viewers watched Ariana confront her partner of nine years about his months-long affair with Raquel. When he sat down on that couch during filming and tried to give the sad sack act, I knew I was going to have to sell a bit. Rihanna, uh, Ariana told the New York Times about their heated confronta confrontation. I knew he was trying to be that person so that I would be the angry person. I could see what, he was, what was happening in front of my face, and it was really frustrating. Honestly, when he started yelling at me, I felt a bit satisfied that he was finally going to be the real him. Side note, I agree on Ariana 1000%. Number one, when Tom Sandoval was angry and yelling and he was showing his level of resentment and vitriol and disdain and bitterness toward Ariana, that's the real Tom Sandoval. That's how he really feels about her. I think everything else was a show. I think when he went to Lisa Vanderpump and he was hyperventilating, I was like, um, am I watching a Lifetime movie with D-list actors trying to muster up some type of emotion? And that's no shade to Lifetime. Shout out to Lifetime. Shout out to D-list actors. Shout out to everybody. That's no shade. I'm just saying it, it was so fake. Like, I don't know who in the world thought that Tom Sandoval crying to Lisa Vanderpump was real. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <coughs> see, I can't even do it. It's so fake. It was the dumbest thing in the world. I was like, I don't see an actual tear, you psycho. And B, why are you hyperventilating? Like what, what exactly is going on, Tom Sandoval? You're just putting on a show because you didn't want to answer Lisa Vanderpump's question. And you know how you know I'm right about this? Watch the scene again and wait until the very end. When Lisa Vanderpump says to him, you're a good person who did a bad thing. Just remember that. Look at the look, um, look at the expression on Sandoval's face. He has this, this it's a very subtle, slick look like, heh, I'm going to get away with this shit. Like that's the energy on his face. Like he has this very subtle look like, She's buying this. I'm going to wait with this. Like, I'm, I, like, I get to be the victim again. It's a very, it's very sick. But go back and watch it. Pause it if you have to. But he has this sly look on his face. Like, huh, this is actually working. And then the whole tears with Shorts, that was another lie. Because then when Shorts was being like, oh, I'm being vilified. You know, they're saying I'm your accomplice. And like, you look at our reviews on Yelp. You know, after Sandoval does his fake crying and all that stuff, he looks at Schwartz and he goes, well, then just stay off the Internet. So which is it, Sandoval? Are you crying and you're so upset and you can't believe you put everybody in it? Or, is, or, or are you the real person who flipped on a dime and dismissed Schwartz the moment he was no longer useful to you? So you use Schwartz when he's useful and the moment he's not useful, you dismiss and discard like a true narcissist. When he went over to Sheena Shea's house, that was nothing but fake. But to be honest, out of everybody he talked to, I think he was actually the most real with Sheena. Even more so than Schwartz, but he's still fake. Still fake. And Team Brock. I think Brock is really cool. I really like Brock. I think he's a good, solid guy. And I stand by my interpretation of what Brock told Sheena. So remember on Watch What Happens Live when Andy's like, oh, like, did you ask Brock if he ever hooked up with Raquel or if she ever tried or what happened there? And Sheena's like, well, yeah, you know, I asked him, you know, did anything happen? And he, of course he said no. And then of course I said, well, did she ever try? And Brock said, oh, no, because I didn't put that energy out. What I think he actually meant, and let me know what you guys think. 
what I think he actually meant was, yeah, she tried it, but the end, but but I blocked it. Like I didn't take the bait. Do you know what I mean? Like I could have hit it if I wanted to, but I didn't want to, so I didn't take the bait. And he and I think he said that in order to keep the peace. Because who says that? No, because I didn't put that energy out there. Or she put the energy out there and you just and you just didn't take the bait. You didn't you didn't pick up on it. I think she made it clear that Brock could get it and Brock passed. That's what I think happened. But let's keep going. Dun 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 dun. Us Weekly confirmed on March 3rd. We already know all of this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. All right, you guys. Now, let me know what you think about Ariana saying that she is no longer going to film with Tom and Raquel. Can the show survive if she decides not to film with them? Do you think she will come back? Listen. And put down what you guys think, okay? Because I'm going to noodle on this a little bit. My thing is this. Ariana, I understand. What happened to you totally sucked. Not cool. Not okay. It's your real life. It's your real pain. I think this is all real. I don't agree. I love a good conspiracy theory, as we all know. But I don't agree with the conspiracy people who think this is fake. I think it's real. I think it's real. So I get it. It's a real pain. But don't get too big for your britches. And what I mean by that is don't be like, oh, I'm not going to film with them I'm, or I'm not coming back to the show and all of that stuff. And then once the height of Sandoval sort of subsides and died down, you don't want to be left out in the cold. Like, I know you're on The View now. I know you're in Lifetime now. I know you're doing all of this stuff now. But what's going to happen Three months, six months, nine months down the line. Just be, I want Ariana's star to continue to rise. You know, she's been through a lot and she's booked and busy now and she's glowing up. I just don't want some, I just don't want her to, like something my mom would say, like, you know, you, you, you cut your nose to spite your face. Do you know what I mean? I want her to come back on the show. I want to see her journey. I want to see her glow up. I want to see her with Daniel. I want to see her with her projects. I want to see her on something about her. And I don't think that production would, I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that they would choose Sandoval over Ariana or Ariana over Sandoval? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Put it, but put it down below. What do you guys think? And do you think that um, Raquel is going to come back? Is she in a mental health facility? Tom Sandoval 100% wants to come back. And it was also, and I think it was like in Variety, they were talking to Alex Baskin. Alex Baskin is one of the executive producers on Vanderpump Rules. And he said, they're putting casting on pause, at least until after the reunion. You know, he said, we're not renegotiating contracts yet. We're putting it all on pause. And then they're going to take a couple of months off, which I actually think is the smartest thing to do. I think everybody needs a beat. I think this needs to breathe. We have three more weeks of, you know, finale. So basically a month of still more Vanderpump Rules content to come out. So I think we're good for a bit, you know, um, but I think that's really smart. And they're going to, he's like, and we're considering who to bring back Kristen, Jax, Brittany. I personally want fresh people. I think that, the show needs some new blood, some fresh energy, but it needs to be BDE energy, guys and girl. We need a BDE guy and a BDE girl because there's really no HBIC. Like who's the number one girl? Who's the number one guy? I think that's the energy that's really been missing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, when they cast stuff like this and all, all TV shows, they have like different tropes and stereotypes and archetypes, right? And that what makes, you know, the show dynamic. There's no prom king and prom queen, if you get what I'm saying. You know, we have the court jester, we have the jocks, we have the, you know, druggies, you know, we have the cool kids, the art kids, but we don't really have the jacks and the Stassi. 
So I don't know. Put it down below. What do you guys think? I need. I think we need a new girl and a new guy to come on the show with that type of energy. Put it down below. Let me know what you guys think. And what do you think is going to be the state of the next season? Who's coming back and who's not? Who's going to film with Rachel? Who's going to film with Tom? I think Schwartz will always film with Tom, but we'll see. We'll see. Put it down below. Oof. And with that, you guys, let's, you know what we're going to do? Let's take some candy cane questions and comments. Yes, let's actually.